Hey guys, welcome back to Crash Bandicoot, the insane trilogy for the... Thank you for that lovely introduction, Iki. So for this part, we're going to be starting off with our first color gen level, and it's, oh boy, the Lost City. So James, explain to it us why... It was green! Explain to us why color gems in this particular installment are annoying. Look at that hint on the bottom of the screen. It's crystallized radiation. <laughs> can I just say okay, that... Dying. Can I just say that, yeah, one thing I'll say oh, that no. is, uh... That is a godsend about colored gems in the uh, in Crash Three is that they are probably the easiest to get. I also think they're because the you pretty much just have to find them. Personally speaking, I think they're the yeah. easiest to get in two, but three they're close. They're about as about as easy. Two, you have to find them. Two, I know you have to find them through secret through like special. Oh God, or bats! Yeah. Oh no! Oh jeez, our worst, our not worst mistaken, fear, bats. Not the best. If I'm not mistaken, uh, they kept in a certain little detail that I'm curious as to whether you'll live up to. Of course. It's the fruit for everyone! Yay. Yay. Wait, could you repeat that? My uh, audio cut out for a second. Oh, he was saying he was saying that the, the little secret was that if you kill both the lead, both the start and ending bats, you know, the one signaling them that it's okay to swoop in, if you kill them both, all the bats turn into one for fruit. <laughs> Oh, mm -hmm. wait, really? Yeah. Yep. yep. It was yeah. a trick you could eat. It was and something it was that so they did in the first game, and it, uh, and it fully applies in the remaster. Really? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yes. I want to see this. Watch. Whack. Da -da. Huh. Yep. By the way, interesting little trick here. There was a knock oh, yeah, mask I up there. Yeah, I oh, saw yeah, the shot. Oh. That is something that, yeah, I'll say, that's something that I was liking this game, that they make use of the lighting engine to, like, reveal little things to you. Yeah. Yeah. That's honestly yeah. a great idea. Pretty clever. I... I actually, you know, I guess let's talk about that. I love I love the new like shading and lighting and how that that worked because in the original I don't think there was any shading. No, not really any shading. And the then there's space. and there's some instances where like a very important item like oh, say no. like say a box in one level that me and Logan hate to the very high hell is actually a little easier to find in the remaster. Yeah, actually, just real quick, just going back to lighting, I kind of have to agree. It's like I appreciate the lighting that they have; it's really realistic. But I also appreciate that, in addition to that, they add in a drop show as well, because I know that's a problem that games like Sonic Unleashed is Sonic mm. Unleashed HD is the biggest problem with that. It's mm. like, yeah, it has realistic lighting, but because of that, it makes platforming a little bit finicky. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So you need, so it's it's nice to have a cartoony drop shadow. In I will to say it. this though, I kind of wish the drop shadow in this game was a little darker, just a little though, because there's some cases where I feel it's a little too faint to notice. Did we uh, miss? Like, yeah. Watch oh, out for those little oh, oh, there you go. Yeah, it's right there. Aha. Ooh. I was about to ask if we miss one. No, nope, it's right there. <laughs> yeah, it's right there. But why did that portal have to be right atop that flame, that freaking fire pit? Thank goodness because the portals don't have to be challenged. too precise. If you get near it, it'll just kind of, you know, mag. Yep, they were that generous. I hate this one. Oh, oh careful. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Jump! Well, that was it's like, oh, jeez. I was going to say in my... At least you got a lot of lives to come. I was going to say a nip... Well, even then, you don't lose lives in those levels. That yep. I like how the explosions look... Like, oh! Wow. And Brio is... Oh, that was rude. He's, he's, very, oh, shit, was... he's very jumpy. I was just going to ask <laughs> he's you the extra battery. Thinks... He immediately thinks it's the end from, so he just kamikazes himself. You'll never take me alive! He doesn't have a battery, but he has battery acid. You will never take my laptop battery as long as I live! Yeah. Wow, I was in the first much. game! But this is the first game, isn't it? Shut up. <laughs> it's like. I love Maurice Lamarche in all his iterations. Well, like, all shh, too you want to get sued? Crash games. <laughs> But, to be, but yeah, the man himself hey, is a really good actor. Give me water. Yeah. And honestly, it still it still amazes me they actually got him back for this game. Like, I I'm amazed they got like, everybody back. I was back. that they probably would have had a little bit of a harder time getting him for this uh, remaster. But then again, they got him. They got John DiMaggio. They got. Um, am I missing anyone? Oh, Corey Burton. Uh, Corey, Corey Burton. Burton. My bad. That's kind of funny because Corey Burton, it's like. This wasn't his first time in the series. He actually was the previous voice actors for Engine and Tropy in uh, Wrath of Cortex, and he reprises those roles in this game. However, I think he does a much better job here than he did in Wrath of Cortex. Yeah, because Engine and Entropy in, in Wrath of Cortex were, were oh pretty much God. throwaway characters. Whereas here, he actually used Look them at all for these all their boxes. Work. Yeah. All of them. Which, uh, oh yeah, that was the other thing he said. They, they used to be 10 each, but now they're 5. It's pure Crash it's, Mania! Well, no, it's still 10, but you just get. No, 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 you yeah, still like, get, like, um, uh... Yeah, just to answer Logan's question, they did carry that over from 2, where these kind of crates take 5 hits instead of 10. Yeah, thank god. Yeah, but they still drop, like, 2 Wumper Fruits apiece. Yeah, yeah. so you get 10 in the end. Yeah, 
it, it's just again, it's it's pretty much Vicarious Visions' way of uh, bringing in um, the uh, perks from from uh, sequels and actually putting them in the first game for a change. By the way, I swear, but is that yeah. the exact same Devil Dame backdrop from the original version of this level? I think it's just. I a think it's a clever simulation. It might, it might be though. better resolution, or it could have been redrawn. It is just a clever ruse. But yeah, no, it's a so, matte painting. A clever so, ripper no. ruse. Nah. Shut up. And wait. We already beat nice. like, no. Got it. Whoa! So wait, nah, yes, the gem. chaos symbol is mine. But it's no color. There's no color gems. Wrong franchise. <laughs> I love that. Oh, I love that animation. It's so cute. This game, Yay. Coco is just adorable. She's fucking adorable. She's adorable and she's she's adorable and. The voice actress actually managed to make her not sound like Jimmy Neutron anymore. Yeah, oh, yeah, no, I'll give him that. Yeah, no, the, uh, Debbie Derryberry does an amazing job here as Coco. Kind of appreciate it, too, because honestly, she's been, technically she's been voicing Coco for well over ten years. Yep, that's yes, true. That's Wrath of Cortex. Well, that will, okay, well, I was going to say, we'll take, we'll, you know, take that with a grain of salt, considering how many games are released in those I games know. That actually feature Well, her. okay, more specifically, so, well, actually, I guess, in a way, it's not too far from 20 years. I would say more so 15 in this case. So I guess yeah. I will say my experience with Crash since we did uh, we did uh, Matt and Nikki in the last one. I think James talked about his the first time we talked about this game. We'll, we'll, we'll oh yeah, that was like a long game. time ago. So once again, <laughs> my first one of my first Crash games I can remember was Wrath of Cortex as well. Mm. However, I had the PS2 version. The first. Let me oh, guess. The first, right. Let me guess. Oh, wow. The first release. Of I the had PS2 the version. Xbox version, which is the better version. Yes, it is. And I, I can speak. Know, it's it the is. middle. Well, it's better in that. It's better in that the load times are shorter, and they gave Crash air quotes realistic fur textures. Spiders. But, but yeah, no. For PS2, no. I can. I can agree. The loading times in some cases were very terrible. Yeah. To be fair, the GameCube version had shorter load times too. And I think if you, and from what I saw, when I saw, um, because I'm also going to be basing some of my own opinions on it, because I agree with um, Kat Kadikaris when he was talking about his review of it. Was, Thank you, I was about could, to I, mention. I think uh, I think it also runs faster if you put it in a PS3 or something, but I think it's just been the hardware or some like part where the, Probably the hardware. The, it just didn't mix. But Yeah, um, technically anyway, speaking, the PlayStation 2 was the weakest out of the GameCube and the Xbox. Uh, I will debate you on that. I honestly think the GameCube version is the worst, just because I but, I just think it was poor. It was um, it wasn't properly optimized for the console. Really? I will, Probably not. But, and actually, just I going was... back to the PS2 version, I know that load time problems an issue, but only for like original uh, iterations of the Ooh, game. I heard some resales actually lower them. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I will say and... I agree with Kid Icarus in that I think I think when it does the Crash Bandicoot levels, it does really well. Yeah. I will also agree with him that it tries way too many dang things at once. I I, I will what? say though I love the gyrosphere Oops. levels. Oops. Those, See ya. <laughs> I love the gyrosphere <laughs> levels. Those Mind have that first step. always been my favorite. Sorry, too many times. Um, but then but then after that after Wrath of Cortex, I didn't really play. I never I never played any of the racing games. I never played. I I only remember uh, at one point I only remember playing two and three because. I think my dad had them on the original PlayStation before. Like, I just remember seeing them. I never remember buying them. I just remember having them in the house. I was like, oh, I'll try it. But I never really got too far in either of them. Because I hated the way the save mechanic worked. <laughs> yeah, especially the one. I like, yeah. I like me some autosaves. But <laughs> I, I, remember the, I remember the next game that really got me into Crash was Twin Sanity. Yes. Eh. With the acapella soundtrack? Oh, definitely. Freaking Spiral Mouth did a great job. And Lex Lang. Do you guys suggest that I get uh, the... Uh, Game Boy Advance uh, Crash games. Um, oh boy! I'd fine. say you should get one on the road, right? All right. We're going on the road to nowhere. Oh, we're, we're on the road to nowhere. This level. To be fair, to road to nowhere. This isn't nearly as annoying as the as the the next bridge stage after it. And I speak. Yeah, see, that's the place I was talking about where Aku had that eyebrow tweak. Danger. Can you spin that sign away? Run! So, other than that, yeah, if you've been watching this, it's fairly simple. Brown boards are fine. The more burgundy ones will uh, fall after time, and the brook ones oh, are just going to break. It's a very precarious... Oh, hog. Thing. Oh, yeah, by the way, can I just say one thing? The hogs are fucking adorable in this remake. Oh, yeah. little oh, why do you say that? Huh? When they don't get stuck. Oh. He's just sitting there! <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? He's floating on air. <laughs> 
be fair, that's what he did in the original game, too. Like, how else do you expect him to run through there without falling? Could you say he puts yeah. on airs? <laughs> I guess so. Nice. So, hang on. Oh, jeez. Uh, nice. By the way, it should be said that the rope, uh, trick, the rope <laughs> trick is not as easy to not as easy to uh, exploit in this in this version as it was in the original. It is yeah. still present, however, with the updated visuals, they had to update how the rope looked, make it look prettier. With a prettier rope, the hitbox had to be edited. Let's as well. also remember that this game was pretty much built from the ground up, so they probably couldn't match it perfectly. And as such, if you try to attempt to go on the rope more often than not, you will fall. Yes. I mean, you're trying oh, to geez. walk on the tightrope. Like my laptop. No, my shoes. Now she's practically naked. I now never understood why the shoes that fly up. Well, because of it because was cartoon cool. logic, the, literally the yeah, creator, it's been. the original creators wanted wanted uh, this game to be a playable Warner Brothers cartoon. Well, hey, I think for the time they should. Why the shoes? Well, because that's how it's worked. Why? Do, why? Why? Why in cartoons oh, does their like adorable. neck stretch? No, don't go back. I just want to show off okay, the adorable so hog. I want what he's going to lose to do. You're going even hog most, wild. Even though the most cartoony thing that you can hey, see. What are you oh, doing? Oh jeez. <laughs> even though the most cartoony thing you can have happen to Coco is being flattened by the. Or board. electrocuted. Oh jeez. Or electrocuted. Yeah, I was about to say that's actually one thing that I'm sure might irk off some people. Despite Coco being playable, she actually doesn't have a lot of death animations that Crash does. In fact, it usually just standardizes to the default of floating angel, angel. animation. Yeah, though yeah, I'll, 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 still they, commend them for, I'll still commend them for keeping Ow. some of the more gruesome ones. Like, Ow. again, the electrocution, the getting squished by a boulder, or in Crash 3's case, getting smacked by those by those um, two-headed two -headed mooks with the clubs. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that was a fun one. And you can, and you can also be turned into a frog still. Yeah. Oh, okay. you, wait. Here is, oh, why yeah, exactly yeah. did you skip that? Oh, why did I skip it? Why because skip I skip that one tunnel level? Because I can't get the gem yet. Oh, oh, yeah, uh, wait a second. Time. Wait a second. I never died with frogs. What do they do? Uh, they kiss you. Uh, they, they kiss, kiss you, you and turn to a prince. And then what? you, yeah, yeah. Is that still possible, Coco? Yes. Oh God. It's the frog prince. I, wow. I'll... And then the wizards can also, and then the wizards can turn you into. I'll have to. Try, I'll have. To, I'll have to. I'll have to test that for myself the next time I decide to play the game. <laughs> actually, <laughs> just, the, the actually, comes. just watch all the death animations oh, on so YouTube. It's all I too. can do that too. Well, You're they right. did, but yeah, they kept some original animations, original expressions. She's terrified of this boulder here. But man, does she have a? Does the boulder still break boxes? For yes, you? it does. Yeah. Yes. Okay, good. But man, um, actually, going back to the Coco model real quick, it is freaking beautiful. The promotional art, on the other hand, is not. Oh yeah, yeah. especially well, for poor, poor no. Coco. I was about to say, to be fair, I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that I think in some areas they were trying a little bit too hard to emulate how the original box art looked. Yeah. True. But, um, what's I going to say? Also, also should be said, um, I don't know how it happened, but, uh, but Coco kind of glitched here and she's just, just, just running like, oh wait, I actually, I've not run these, I don't need to be scared. <laughs> so what was it? Um, but yeah, oh yeah, that's, that's actually pretty funny, but yeah, it was, um, oh no! But, um, oh what was that you said, James, that, like, I think I already mentioned it. explosions look cool in this game. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think you said that... Everything looks Coco, cool in this game. The whole Coco project was literally just because they had some spare time before the game actually was supposed to come yeah. out. Yeah, spare time, and, and, and as far as I'm concerned, they already had to make a playable Coco model anyway because of the Purr stages. So they figured, eh, we have a little bit of extra time on our hands. We could probably make see if we can make her sort of a playable copy to Crash and give her her own little um, animations. Which I was oh, wait, gonna, just, can I just say that uh, is the one thing Activision actually uh, is good with? Vicarious Visions. No, not not just Vicarious Visions, Activision, in that they let their developers, they give their developers time to uh, finish their stuff. Then unlike it, like, like EA it, and stuff like that. And how's it that, oh. and then how's it that like, almost half of Activision's projects are usually just average, average at best? <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's um, on the developers themselves. True. Yeah, no. Yo, guys. Looks like Call of Duty. Yeah, uh, we were talking about uh, Coco's design for the uh, promotional artworks. Um, yes. Better or worse than her depiction and design in uh, Crash Boom Bang? Good point. The anime is shit Coco design. I thought that, I thought that design was adorable. Well, that's pretty much how she... What, the anime is shit one? No, Cra Crash of the Titans, on the other hand. <laughs> Says the guy who didn't oh, mind boy. it. True. Crash of the Titans just fucked with everything. Especially Uka Uka's design. What the what fuck about, even was he? He's, it looks like a rotten lumber fruit. 
<laughs> and, then, and then Aku Aku looked like a gorilla. But any It always looked like Aku Aku. But in any case, ladies and gentlemen, uh, next part we're going to go to what used to be my least favorite stage, but thanks to the changes in the remaster, it's actually not that bad. Until next time, everybody. Cool. Yay. See Bye-bye. ya. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.